When practicing the harpsichord, I always feel the need to come back to fundamental works in which you can deal with a raw material, so to say. And among these, the Grosse General Bass Schule by Johann Matheson has a special place. It offers a wonderful basis to learn improvisation and even composition by means of continual playing. The final edition of the work was published in Hamburg in 1731. It mainly consists of 48 Propstücke or practice pieces written in all the keys and arranged in two parts, the intermediate class and the advanced class. Each of them is followed by an Erläuterung or explication in which the composer just explains what he wants to do in the piece. So this is solo continuum, which is quite remarkable. And these pieces display a great variety of moods and styles. One piece, for example, is written in a tempo di giga. And Matheson, quite surprisingly, says that it should be played not like a Canarian or Spanish chick, which means fast, but like a French loup. He also asks to ornament the bass with long appoggiaturas and kurzen scharfen Triller. The important feature is the reference to opera and vocal music. Matheson says that without singing, basso continuo just sounds dreadful because the links between the elements are lacking. In other words, continuo playing goes far beyond playing chords, it has to sing in itself. For this reason, maybe, he favours a voice combination, isolating one voice in the right hand, while the left plays in full chords. One Probstück of the advanced class puts this in opposition with alternating chords between both hands, resulting in quite an interesting effect. And indeed, the Grosse General Bassschule is technically very demanding. It requires some special elements like arpeggios or brechungen, as he says, octaves, double notes, but these are not the only difficulties. In one piece, for example, he says that if you can't jump properly, well, it might be tricky. Actually, what I find truly exciting 
is that these pieces have to sound as if they were fully written out. Finally, it allows you to see and hear the written out music with different eyes and ears.